Ladies and gentlemen, this is James Marshall reporting for the Natural Lifestyles blog. I'm here in London, UK, merry old England, in Regent's Park with my uh, new best friend, Sasha Day Game. Um, your specialty is obviously day game. What, how do you feel about night game, first of all? Just, just give me a general feel about it. Well, I would say uh, I never liked night game at all. It just felt really fake to me, like you know, having to go to a particular place and behave a certain way, and like a bunch of drunk chicks, loud music, and trying to fucking ugh, it's just a pain in the ass, and uh, I hate it. I've What'd always you say hated about it. The, the quality of women that you tend to encounter in dirty manky slappers in clubs. They're there. They just there. Any girl that'll suck you off in a club or take 15 drinks off you and then not put out all those girls. I hate them all. I hope they all get cancer and die. Excellent. Slowly. Not right. a fast death. <coughs> so, the alternative to that is obviously to walk out on a lovely <coughs> British uh, Sunday afternoon <laughs> to enjoy the sunshine and uh, and do what? Like, what's I guess what what's, what are the advantages of approaching girls in the day? God, there are so many advantages. Uh, well, first of all, pick three. That's hard to, to limit to three. Well, first of all, you don't have to go out on purpose uh, to meet women, which is great. Like when you're actually out. Uh, naturally, you know, hey, you're, you're with your buddy, let's go hang out, let's get some, you know, fucking, let's get some food, let's go to the gym, whatever you happen to be doing in your normal life. And you see a hot girl and you're like, I'll be right back, my friend, and you get your ass over there. It's so much more natural and fun to just legitimately be like, hey, I'm with my friend, we're just chilling, and fucking hell, you were hot, and, you know, I'd be a prick if I didn't come over and say, hey, holy fuck, you're smoking, what's your name? Just, it's so much more natural instead of like, hey, let's go out sarging, hey, let's go out pick up chicken, and then you're like running after all these chicks, and then they can pick up on the fact that you're just fucking doing this all day, and you're like, hey, what are you up to? Oh, uh, yeah, no, stuff, you know, fuck, come on. So it's just like you can live, if you get good at this, you can like live your normal everyday life and just enjoy meeting people where they happen to be. So it's like you don't have to go out to try and meet chicks, and that's really probably the thing I love the most. Um, number two, uh, you're original, like m like most guys, even guys who are like natural with women, they'll keep it for the bars and clubs. They just don't have the balls, or don't believe they can, just approach girls anywhere, and uh, and just get massive points, especially if you're direct with it. So chicks really, they're tired of the bullshit. They're tired of guys like, hey, uh, you know, I like your uh, your outfit. It's really nice. Or, uh, hey, you know, is it? Just they're fucking tired of that shit. You know, you're starting conversation. They know you want to fuck them, they're, and they really appreciate when a man comes on and goes, you know what, you're fucking hot. I'm not ashamed of it. Being attracted to you, it's normal. It's beautiful, and I want to want to come talk to you and find out what you're about. They respect that and they love it. And you know what, when you do that shit, you don't waste any time. Girls are interested or they're not interested. If they are, yeah, get to know them, see where it goes. They're not, no problem. There's another smoking hot girl right behind her. And it, so that's number two is that it's two's just enough. fucking, two's enough? Yeah. I think that was it? Well, no, well, I'm gonna ask you more questions. I love right, the day game. Three, three. I can't believe you're trying to cut my time. You're using my camera and you're cutting my time in my city. Oh, okay. Uh, and basically, uh, yeah, much less frustration, it's a lot of fun, and it's much less fakey, you know? You see a girl you talk to, it's fun, great. You have to, yeah, it's just great. So, Sasha, um, I guess in the, at night time, girls are expecting to be approached, even if they're expecting to be approached badly, right? Mm. So, in the daytime, they're not necessarily expecting, as they walk down the street, that some charming stranger is going to come up and make their day. So, uh, how do you deal with the fact that they might be a little bit freaked out when you first go up, especially in London, they're like, oh, oh, oh look at this yeah, guy, he's hairy, and maybe he hasn't showered. What is it? Uh, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, totally. Uh, it's all about coming in. I mean, obviously, I've spent like obsessive amounts of time uh, in the daytime, you know, just because my name happens to be Sasha Day Game. So, um, but yeah, you just want to not freak girls out. So, I, I, I'm very comfortable. I got this energy I've developed. However, a couple of quick things, um, you know, a couple of basic things. Just a, be in a happy state. Joke around with your friends. Be like in a happy place. If you had a shit day, don't go out there trying to, you know, like joke around with your friend. Call one of your buddies up. Be in a happy place. I like to make uh, my guys do like goofy stuff and fun stuff and pranks and just to really be in a happy place. So when you approach women, uh, they're gonna pick up on your vibe, man. So if you come in, you're just like, hey, uh, you know, uh, and you're a little nervous. They're gonna fucking, they're gonna just think you're weird. But if you come in, you're just like, hi, hi, uh, you know, it just fucking. It's all about the smile and the energy and a really quick tip that makes a massive, 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 massive difference and it'll immediately get you results. Is use a preframe. So I mean, uh, my friend Marcus came up with these. Uh, actually, he came up with them and taught me, and then I've I've built them into this massive thing that, I, that that's amazing. Uh, and it's basically don't just come in and just be like, hey, you're super hot, because even if a girl likes you and or whatever, she's if you just come right up to a girl, hey, you're super hot, they don't know how to react because they're just like, ooh, imagine imagine you were on the street, some chick came up to you and just went, hey, you're you're smoking hot. You might I know a lot of guys who would panic and just be like, oh oh. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. They, they wouldn't know what the fuck to do. So, so slow the fuck down. And when you come up to a girl, use a throw in a preframe. Preframe could be as simple as just like, hey, I know this is a bit random, but you are absolutely gorgeous and I had to come meet you. Or hey, 
I know this is a bit strange uh, because you're acknowledging the social awkwardness. You know, I know this is a bit weird. This is a bit weird. You're a fucking stranger and you're coming to some chick. It's a bit weird. Uh, you know, same thing with strange. It's just, it just, it basically, you're letting them know you're aware this is a bit strange and that makes them calm down. And it, give, and it because you're using a preframe, you're stretching out the amount of time before you actually give them the compliment. And it take, gives them time to take you in and go, okay, it's a normal guy. He's not a robber. He's not crazy. Uh, it's just a guy who's chanting me up. My favorite preframe, it's a bit of fun and it really calms girls down. It's just like, hey, don't panic, this is not a robbery. You're just fucking hot and I had to come meet you. Hi. And then that's it. Just throw something in there that's a bit fun. Slow yourself down, have a great positive energy, and you'll get, uh, you'll get some results just by doing that. Fuck yeah. Would you say to guys, in the, in the daytime, uh, you know, is it a good idea to stop a girl on the street and talk to her for 45 minutes, or should you, you know, get in there, get out, and then... Like, the day two 45 or... minutes is too long. Uh, oh. It depends on, on your style. Uh, I say there's a couple of ways. Generally, if you're, if you're new, just get good at opening with a great positive energy, be happy, uh, be direct, tell her she's fucking hot, get to know her a little bit, a little bit of fluff, fluff talk, just enough for her to pick up that you're a normal guy, that you're not a fucking weirdo, that you bathe, you brush your teeth, you have friends, you have a life. That's it, just basic, basic stuff. Talk for two, three minutes, you know, say, you know, again, find a reason you want to hang out with her, other than that she's hot and that'll help. Um, and then, yeah, just get her number and get the fuck out of there. Because when you talk to girls for like 25, 30 minutes, you're, you're going into the friend zone. You can only, even if you're like, you, even if you're escalating sexually, you can't be doing that shit for fucking half an hour. It's ridiculous. So either get in there really quick, two, three minutes, or I would say, if you can, get her on a date, man. Because if you can actually get her in a coffee shop, you can really chill and get to know her and who knows, maybe even take things all the way. Um, but yeah, I say get in there, make a good impression, get the fuck out. Because you know what? Girls are flaky. You don't want to invest half an hour. You're never going to see the girl again. Two, three minutes is beautiful. That's all you need. It's beautiful. Okay, one more question. Um, in terms of, let's, let's say, your day twos, because you don't, you don't do nightclubs, um, so what's what's your follow-up game like? Where do you lo what do you like to do with a girl once once you meet her the second time? I always like to because uh, for me the most important thing is the the energy between me and the girl, just like having that genuine connection. Because I, I know what I like, and I like girls who are fun. I can talk to them and joke around. Just like, like I should be able to sit in a room for five hours with a chick and just talk, 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 and be and having fun. That's my thing. So initially, for the first part of the day, like half an hour, forty-five minutes, hour tops, I just want to get it. You know, coffee, maybe hot chocolate. Chicks like chocolate. But find a funky place. Don't take her to like fucking Starbucks. Like take her to like a little cafe with just like couches and you can relax and just fucking chill out. Get to know her a bit. I, you know, I do my little question game thing where I get to know her. Uh, it's on my blogs. Just look for question game. It's really amazing. Um, but yeah, I take her and after I get to know her a little bit and it's great, just fucking go do anything fun. Even if it's like going to one of those little stupid arcades where I don't know if they have them in Australia, but it's like... Um, there's a place here called Trocadiers, and it's like you pick these two, there's all these two penny things, two, two P thing coins, and, that, and they look like they're gonna fall over the edge, and then you shoot them over, and you hit the thing, and they're trying to fall on the thing. It's a stupid game, and they, and they get your money, but it's really fun, or like playing air hockey, like anything physical where you're actually having fun, where you can actually go and do something. Like, don't go fucking see a movie or have dinner on the first day, fucking get to know her, get out there and just do something, even like Frisbee, man, we're in a park, playing Frisbee, like a little picnic, a little cheese and crackers, and Frisbee in a park, fucking great time. It's a great time because you can like push them over if they're retarded and you can make fun of them for being retarded if they drop the frisbee or you, you know you just pick them up and throw them. It's just fucking you have so much fun. So do something physical and fun and original instead of just like you know fucking sitting around and uh, yeah get out there and, and show her a good time. Awesome. All right, Sasha. Well, if uh, people want to find out more about you and they don't want to have to stalk you all the way to London, England, London, what do they do? Uh, just check out my website, uh, sashapua.com. It's got tons of shit on it, so enjoy. There's videos, and uh, feel free to drop me a line because I like fan mail. So if you want to play with my nipples, totally fine. Drop me a line, say hi, and uh, big kiss to all you guys out there. That has been uh, Sasha and James Marshall reporting for the Natural Lifestyles. We'll catch you guys. Bye. Gay.